ask you to find yourself in your comfortable seat. I'll be joining the seat in just a bit, but I wanted to start today with simple closing of the eyes and a breath, right? Isn't it sometimes important to just take a breath? So wherever you're at, start to notice your posture. Feel the earth beneath your body, those foundation points, feet pressing into the floor, the sit bones. And just notice the support from Mother Earth beneath us. It's not something you may have noticed yet today. You may have not yet found yourself still. Being still may feel challenging. And just know, as the breath flows in, and as the breath flows out, emotions that come, thoughts, that drift in and drift out. You're exactly where you want to be and where you need to be. Let your shoulders softly fall away from the ears. Allow yourself some time to just be present. It might not be very often we hear our breath, feel our breath, or even notice the breath. And what we can do when we're feeling that overwhelming, suffocating wave of grief, no matter where you are, who you're with, you can just pause, take a moment, And allow yourself to travel to a place of peace. That might be for you, the beach, the forest, your backyard. The smell of fresh cut grass, flowers in the spring, the sound of the birds chirping overhead. You'll notice emotion comes, emotion goes. It leaves us just as easily as it comes in. It's important to allow yourself to go through your emotions, transitions in life. And speak to yourself. We all have that inner critic. Speak to yourself the way you would speak to a best friend. Be your own best friend. When your confidant doesn't pick up the phone, or your partner is unavailable, we do this by simply coming back to our breath. Deep breath in. Allow yourself to fully expand the lungs, the belly, the rib cage. Allow for a slight pause at the top of your breath. And with a loud, deep sigh, let it go. Ah. Send all the air out. And once again, a deep, long breath in, allowing for a pause at the top of the breath. And then a release, completely surrendering to this moment, to this breath. Feel the crown of the head reaching slowly and gently to the sky. Feel the spine lengthen. And notice the pace of your breath. Is it something that you could slow down? Is it something you can explore? You might notice the breath is shallow. And as I've said, friends, just accepting what is in this present moment, right here, right now. It's exactly where you want to be.
Grief is like the ocean. It comes in waves, ebbing and flowing. Sometimes the water is calm and sometimes it is overwhelming. All we can do is learn to swim. Keeping that breath slow, keeping that breath deep. And just giving yourself whatever it is you need along the way. Wait. Blink, blinking of the eyes to open. Just taking this moment to notice how you're feeling. There's power in slowing down. And when we feel overwhelmed by grief, by loss, we have the opportunity to begin again. And just like each breath in, a new beginning. And it doesn't mean we forget yesterday who or what is important to us. That remains. We may not see that person, that pet, that beloved with our eyes, but those of us that love deeply with the heart. The heart goes on. And just when you think it's not possible, we can find space between the breath we can release. And you might even find with time, our loss, our grief can turn, can evolve into sweet memories of life. Sweet memories of love. On your next inhale, my friends, allow yourself to move slightly away from the back of the chair. So moving up toward the center of the chair, really firmly plant your feet. And on this next breath in, I'm just going to ask you to circle your arms, reach toward the earth, and then draw a big circle up to the sky, maybe even gazing to your thumbs at the top. And then as you exhale, slowly bring the palms down to center at your heart. Good. And again, we'll do that same breath in. Take your time to get to the top of your breath. Reach the sternum, the crown of the head high, and then exhale, bringing your palms to center. Feel the feet grounded, feel the sit bones rooting. And again, inhale, circle the arms high. Now this time, exhale, tap to shape your arms. And as you do this, squeeze your shoulder blades together, press your forearms to the wall behind, gaze to the ceiling, lift your heart. Exhale, bring your palms down to your sides. Good, we'll do one more of those. Inhale, circle the arms, breathing in, deep breath. Exhale, cactus the arms. Feel as though you're moving through water. Use the back body here. This time, inhale, reach back to the sky. And exhale, palms to your side. Beautiful, friends. Again, inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, twist to the left. Your left hand will come to the chair. Right hand will come to that left thigh. Just look over that left shoulder. Stay here for the inhale. Tone the belly and lift the crown of the head nice and tall. Feel the length in the spine on the inhalation. Exhalation, deepen your twist just a bit. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Circle your arms up tall. Looking so good, everyone. And then exhale, twist to the right. So that left hand to the right thigh. Right hand will securely fasten to the chair. Inhale, lengthen, stay in that twist. And exhale, deepen. Good. Inhale, come back to center, circle the arms. Exhale, once again, visiting that cactus shape. 
Ah, feels so good to open our hearts, friends. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, back to center. Beautiful. Just take a few breaths here. Press your palms into the heart. Press your palms together. You'll feel those chest muscles turning on. And then also in yoga, balance, super important. And we always are searching for balance. So if you're able to join me as we inhale, come to standing and just press your arms back and squeeze the shoulder blades. Stand tall, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale here, exhale, simply sit back into your chair. Bring your palms to heart center. Good, inhale, pressing up to stand, press those palms back, squeeze the quads, engage your belly, open your heart. Exhale, come back to seated, palms to center. Good, inhale, repeat the same. Now I'm gonna give you an option if you wanna build a little more strength in the body. Exhale, just a gentle squat. You could also sit in the chair like we did. I'm just gonna tap my booty on the seat, inhale. Coming back to standing. Nice, strong bodies, friends. Exhale. Tap the booty or take a seat. Inhale, come up. Good. Now we're getting the entire body engaged. Exhaling as you tap. Inhaling as you come up. So you'll notice we're starting to breathe a little bit swifter. You move at your own pace. Remember that everything I offer is an invitation, not necessary. We don't go to every party, right? We're invited to. So move at your own pace. Exhaling on the way down, inhaling on the way up. Activate the glutes, engage your abdominals, engage your quads. Inhale, just a few more. And exhale. Weight into the heels. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to hold this shape and simply pulse. Now I'm just tapping those sit bones on the chair. Good afternoon, depending on where you are. Good morning into those legs. Keep your chest proud. Friends, we're gonna check in with the balance. Inhale, stand, maybe lift the heels. Beautiful, exhale, heels down, back to tapping. Keep the breath flowing. We'll do that once again, inhale up, maybe those heels lift. Beautiful, exhale, come back down, take a seat and relax. Good, so good friends. Now bring your sit bones toward the front half of the chair. Keep your back nice and straight and now lean your shoulder blades into the chair. So the mid and upper back. So from the side, my back is gonna look like this into the chair. Feel your abdominals turn on. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, hug the right knee into the chest. Now my knee comes all the way up. If yours comes somewhere here, that's okay. I want you to feel the low back on that right side. I want you to feel the glutes getting a nice stretch. Exhale, release that first leg. Inhale, bringing the knee into the chest. Stay proud. Keep that smile there. I see those pearly whites. Exhale, release. We'll do one more. Inhale, the right knee. And exhale, release. And once again, inhale, the left. Now, keeping that back active, keeping those abdominals, release that leg. We're really working those abdominals. Who doesn't need work on the abdominals? I do. <laughs> All right, friends, grab the seat of your chair. Come back to upright. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. So I'm actually holding on to the seat of my chair. We're going to work those lower abdominals. Do whatever option I give you that feels best. Inhale, extend one leg. And then exhale, switch. Inhale, one leg, exhale, switch. So you'll see there's moments where both feet are off the ground. If that doesn't work for you, simply take this option that I'm showing. Keep your breath flowing. Now, if you wanna go a little deeper into the challenge, extend both legs and then flutter kick those legs. If that doesn't work, remember your options. I'm always gonna give you options don't ever feel pressured to do something that isn't working for your body. Breathing. Exhale, release. Ooh, good morning, belly. <laughs> Inhale, circle the arms. Exhale, take those hands to the back of your chair. Slide your hands up. Start to hinge forward just a bit. Squeeze your shoulder blades. And like a moonbeam shooting out of your heart, 
send it to where the wall and ceiling meet in front of you. I see some of you might be outdoors. So use your best judgment, maybe to the tippy tops of the trees. And then slide those hands down, coming all the way back to upright. Beautiful. Inhale, left hand is going to take the leg of the chair. If it's comfortable, you're going to start to slide your hand down. Draw a big rainbow shape with that right arm. So we're getting into the side of the waist. Now, you don't have to go all the way down, but just feel the lengthening through the right ribs. And then exhale, slowly bring it down. Feel the right oblique lifting the body back to straight. Right hand secures to the chair, left arm up and over. Breathing in through the nose. And in yoga, we breathe out through the nose, called the ujjayi breath. So We'll switch sides here. Inhale, feel the left oblique, bringing the body up, crunch. That left hand comes to the chair, the right arm draws that beautiful rainbow. Same thing, friends, as we come to that second side. Inhale, use the right oblique to lift the body up. And then right hand to chair, left hand up and over. So, so good. Inhale, come back to upright. Excellent. Now this next one we're going to do, start to march your feet. It doesn't have to be fast. You can use your arms to get the heart rate up, just finding your breath here. Now, if you want no arms, you can hold the chair. Now imagine you're getting in and out of your car. So we're going to get out on the right side and get in on the right side. Keep the body nice and straight. Get out of the car on the left side. And in. Now, if you feel your upper body moving to get the legs in, I want to see if you can now come to a place of stillness and center. We're just using those abdominals. This is a great way to practice mobility of the hips as well as really training those abdominals to do their job, right? That's going to help strengthen the abdominals, gets rid of low back pain. Anybody? Hey, <laughs> anybody over 40? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, pain. Welcome to my dinner table, right? <laughs> Breakfast table, lunch table. We're all in it together, friends. Now, give me one more on each side. Good. Now, I'm going to ask you to take that left leg out. Stay out of the car. Turn your body to the left. I'm going to take my hands to the chair for support. And I'm going to bring my right leg off the chair so that my knee is stacking right underneath the hip. My toes on that right foot are tucked under. And I'm going to hold the seat of the chair with my right hand, back of the chair with the left, sit upright. Now you're going to start to feel the stretch through the right hip flexor. If you can, breathe and just start to slide your right toes back. Send your right heel toward the wall behind. You might even come to a straight leg on that right side. Breathing here. Now I wanna keep your pelvis even. And what I mean by that is hug your left hip back, send your right hip forward, even though we're sending that right heel back. Now, if you're comfortable, only if you're comfortable, take it another step by reaching the right arm up overhead. Still hold the chair with the left hand and now reach for the wall behind your chair to that left side. Good, so you're getting a nice stretch through the right side of the body, through the right hip flexor. Shoulders fall away from the ears here. Inhale back to upright and release that right hand. will come down. Start to bring that knee under the right hip. And friends, we're going to get back into our car, face forward. Get there by any means that works. Bring the leg back in. And guess what? We're doing the other side. Inhale, bring that right leg. Get out of the car. Turning over to that right side. Hands to chair. Knee will stack under the left hip holding your chair securely. If it feels good, start to work that left leg towards straight. Doesn't need to be perfect. You'll feel the stretch. Please remember, we like to think of it as clearing out the cobwebs. If this is your first time, take your time. It's okay to keep that left knee bent. If it feels good, hang out right here. Otherwise, left arm on an inhale comes up overhead. Exhale, reach to that wall behind your chair over to the right and breathe into that left side body. Woo, anybody else? <laughs> Sometimes my body asks me mid-class, is it the first time we're doing this? The answer's no, 
but it certainly feels like it, right? Some days, exhale, bring that left hand back down. Let's slowly bring the knee back to under the hip and let's get back into our car. Really nice, friends. Now, if you wanna stay seated for this next portion, please feel free. If you have a strap, remember I mentioned it earlier, go ahead and grab your belt, your strap, a hand towel, a beach towel, whatever it is that you have. And we are gonna simply hold the strap in our palms and we're just gonna spread our palms far apart, wider than shoulder distance, wider than hip distance. On your inhale, you're gonna come toward the center of your chair using no back support if it's okay. If you need the support, go ahead and use it. Inhale, lift that strap up and overhead. Now here's the catch, relax your shoulders and then exhale and see if you can take that strap behind you now. I'm realizing my strap is too short, so I'm gonna make it longer. Take it all the way behind. If that doesn't work, then just go to where you can. I don't want this to be painful. Inhale, bring that strap back up and all the way around to our starting point. It's called shoulder flossing. This really helps if you have upper body limitations. Inhale, lift it, do the best you can with it. Maybe this is your destination. Or exhale, come all the way back and around. That strap will actually pet you or connect to that lower back. Inhale, arms all the way back up. Exhale, back to where we started. Good, a few more. Rest as needed, hydrate as needed, friends. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale through the nose, back to where we started. And just to show for my friends standing, inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, lift. And exhale, back. Beautiful. Feeling it a little bit more open in those shoulders. That's exactly where we want to be. Now, we're going to take our strap. We'll do one more exercise with the strap today. And I'm going to ask you to place your strap in your right hand. As you take the strap in your right hand, give yourself a pat between the shoulder blades. That strap will hang down your back. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. So that strap will just hang down through the center of the back. Good, now take this free hand on the left side and just step it behind and see if you can hold on to the strap. So again, I'm just gonna show you. And then you're gonna start to walk your hands toward one another and you're gonna start to feel a nice stretch through those shoulders. Now, if you're starting to notice that the, the strap is pushing you forward, sit up nice and tall. Notice your breath. Remember that beginning of class when we started nice and still and we were aware, right? Mindfulness. Take another deep breath. We're not straining here. We're just feeling the stretch. Press your elbows toward the wall behind. See if you can feel a lifting through the sternum. And then exhale, friends, release that left hand and then bring that right arm back and around. Take a moment, you can rest that strap on your lap. How about some shoulder circles? This is a great time to hydrate if you would like. You know, you're doing great. And what I'm seeing on the screen and the variations, I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Let's change directions of those shoulder circles. You know, sometimes we hear yoga or we'll hear a discipline, you know, Pilates, whatever it is, and it can be very overwhelming, right? We can make our yoga as gentle or as challenging as we'd like. So just like our life, just like days, right? Getting through grief. Let's switch sides. We're gonna take the strap into the left hand. And when you're ready, give yourself a pat between the shoulder blades. Congratulate yourself for being here today, right? As I've said before, being here sometimes is the hardest part, just showing up. Take that right hand that's free, reach it behind, come to the strap, and then start to walk your hands toward one another. Now, notice in this transition time as we get to our final destination physically, how's the breath, okay? You might be holding your breath, concentrating, or you might be cranking on those shoulders, not what we want today. Separate the hands apart if needed, but feel the stretch. Now that fine tuning, sit up nice and tall, Press your elbows toward the back wall. Feel that stretch, feel the opening sensation through the chest. You know, being open is not easy, as we've said earlier, that you're here and you're putting in the work. As you exhale, friends, release that right arm, release the left arm, and guess what? 
we're done with that strap. So if you can, place it off to the side so that it's not a tripping hazard for you. And then come back to your chair when you're ready. We'll get into our next section. Now on your next inhale, friends, we're gonna circle the arms up nice and tall. Now as you exhale, hinge forward. So reach your arms wide and then hinge forward like you're gonna take your belly closer to your thighs. Beautiful. And inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart center. Beautiful. Now you'll remember that motion we did earlier, just the simple standing and the sitting. We're gonna build on. So feel free to do what we've already done or let's challenge our balance. Inhale, step up onto that left foot, bring the right knee to hip height. Good, exhale, back to that squat or sit. Inhale, left knee, hip height. Beautiful. Exhale, sit. Inhale, 90 degrees with the leg. Now, remember, I'm just going to show you from the side. You're moving at your pace, so I'm tapping those sit bones on the chair. I'm oop, lifting. <laughs> like I said, balance, right? <laughs> Inhale, that left knee. Exhale. Notice how my chest is staying proud. Notice how I'm engaging my abdominals and I'm bringing those knees hip height. So we have just three more and that's three more sets. Pressing those palms back. Feel the front of the body opening on the standing. Feel the back body lengthening on the exhale. Last set, friends. Inhale and tap and inhale, exhale. Inhale to stand. We're gonna take a journey. I hope you come with me. Let's move to the left side of our chair. So the chair is on your right side. Now, if you need to relocate your chair, move it over, that's fine. We're gonna practice a little balance today using this chair the entire time. Now your right foot is your base. We're gonna come into tree pose. So you're gonna bring that left heel into the right inner ankle and then externally rotate that left hip. See how this feels. If this is your destination, stay right here and breathe. If you wanna go deeper, slide your foot to just below the knee joint on the calf, still holding onto that chair for support. Final option, this one may require that left hand for assistance. You can bring that foot above the knee joint and you'll feel that left hip opening. Now, if it feels good, how about we inhale, grow your branch on that left hand. It can be tall, it can be bent. There's no rule and just be playful. And friends, if you wanna really get crazy with me, maybe grow both branches. Now that is up to you. There's no shame in your game by using that chair. That chair is there for support. Give me one more breath. Beautiful friends, hands to chair. Release the branch and free that left leg. Shake out the right side. You did great. Let's mosey on over to the other side of the chair for side two. And then be gentle with yourself, especially if this is your first time in yoga ever. Do what you can. Left hand stays on that chair. Right ankle to the inner left ankle bone. Slide your foot up below the knee joint or above the knee joint. So that right foot is pressing into the inner left thigh. Feel that dance, finding balance. Grow your branch. Now, if you have slippery yoga pants on like I do, you might find a different <laughs> variation halfway through. Who's growing that second branch with me, anyone? Breathing here, friends. Isn't this a beautiful moment to find balance, to connect with your breath, to connect with other like-minded folks? You're doing wonderful today. Release the hands, the branches, and the legs. Shake it out, excellent. Now I'm gonna press, bring my chair all the way up to the front. Give yourself some space behind your chair, so you may have to relocate your chair if you can. Hands are gonna be on top of the chair and I'm gonna turn my chair sideways so that you can see what I'm doing. As I press into the chair, I'm just gonna step back away from the chair, feet about hips distance. And I'm just gonna to start to lower my underarms, my heart, and my ears are next to the biceps and I'm actually toning my belly and I'm pressing the sit bones back. This is a great variation, utilizing the chair for down dog. And this is a great way to stretch your hamstrings. Now, if it's too intense, bend your knees like I'm demoing here. 
I want you to think of taking your belly closer toward your thighs, and that's going to help you get that deeper stretch. Now, some of us don't need the deep stretch, so bending those knees takes off that intensity. Those of you that want more, engage your quads. One more deep breath here. And then inhale. We're going to come all the way back up. Start to walk back toward your chair. Really nice, friends. Let's come back to our chair. We'll come back to seated. So again, just be careful. No tripping hazards. No one's falling. No one's allowed to do that on my watch. Or later, that's all, okay? That's a rule. Your homework is not to fall. <laughs> so yes, you have homework after class today. All right. Now, options remain the same. Press your back in if you want more support or bring the back away from the chair for less support and we're using that core more. Option one, cross the right ankle in front of the left. Option two goes a little deeper, crossing the right ankle above the left knee. Flex that right foot like you're standing on the floor. It's gonna protect your knee joint. I'm gonna support my heel and the outside of that right thigh with the hands. Sit tall, inhale here, keeping the right foot flexed. Exhale, slightly hinge forward. You're gonna feel a deep stretch through the outer glutes, that outer hip. Ah, oh, they call it the deep six, those external rotators of the hip. And boy, is it deep. <laughs> I hope you're feeling it as much as I am, friends. Keep breathing. Even those challenging times where we might be, like I said, clearing out the cobwebs. Inhale, come all the way back up. Beautiful. And then exhale, hinge forward once again. Now, as you hinge forward, can you tone your belly for me? Draw the navel into the spine. Soften the shoulders. Where's your gaze? Can you gaze about three to five feet in front of your chair? That's going to help you stay long through the spine. Inhale, nice and tall. Good. Now, friends, exhale, twisting to the left. Now, this is an option. This is where you'll stay. Some of you are going to use the right elbow and then just take the elbow and connect it to the inner ankle bone. And if it feels okay, bring your palms together. Stack the left elbow over the right and look over your left shoulder. So you're actually looking to the ceiling. And if that's too intense, come back to that other option. You can go as deep or as gentle as you'd like. Inhale, come out of the twist. Come back to upright. Release the cross of the legs. Woo, keep breathing. Shake out those legs. Neutralize your spine, your hips, before we come into side two. When you're ready, cross the left ankle in front of the right. Option one. Or option two, left ankle above the right knee. Let your hands feel supported by the leg. Let your leg feel supported by the hands. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge forward. Now remember, just again, showing you from the right side, I am hinging forward, but I'm not looking at my navel. I'm looking about three to five feet in front of my grounded foot. That's going to help to keep the heart open. And we know from grief, it closes our heart. We want to keep our grief at bay by breath work, by loving ourselves and being kind. Inhale, upright. Ah, exhale, hinging forward. Now you can actually do what we just did or find that twist for me. Your left elbow this time will come toward the inner left ankle bone. Stack your palms. We're not putting a lot of weight into the elbow. This is just an opportunity to twist. And then if it's feeling good in your practice today, gaze over your right shoulder, looking to the sky. Breathe into that left hip, keeping your left foot flexed, friends. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. So good. And then inhale, release the twist. Come all the way back up and release. Excellent. Shake out those legs. You did an absolutely amazing job. Go ahead and take the back into the chair. Ah, uh, This is my favorite part when the teacher says basically relax, right? <laughs> we did a lot of work today. Inhale, circle your arms up nice and tall, and then catch opposite elbows. Good. Now relax your shoulders away from the ears. Take the forearms Press them back. Now, they're either going to land into your forehead. If you want to sit more upright, you might actually get those forearms up and overhead. That's going to be up to you. Press your elbows, your forearms toward the back wall. I just want you to feel the stretch through the shoulders, through the triceps. 
Good. And then exhale, just gently reach over to the left side, stretching the right side of the body. Now my back is into the chair. If this feels good, do more of it. If it doesn't, make any adjustments needed. Inhale back to upright. And then exhale over to the other side. Now remember what I said about breathing. We might be trying to get it right. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for progress. Inhale center. Exhale over to that left side, stretching the right side body. You'll feel this through the rib cage, through the oblique. Inhale, come to center. Soften through the shoulders and exhale, stretching over to that right side. Good, inhale, center, friends. Exhale, release the elbows. Sitting up straight, just give me some shoulder rolls. And then if you have any other postures that you would like to do today that we didn't address in class, feel free to take those postures now. We're gonna to start to unwind in my favorite part of class. It's what keeps me coming back to yoga. When the teacher says, get cozy in your chair, release the hands onto the thighs, let your feet firmly planted to the earth, soften your belly and just close your eyes. Closing your eyes isn't comfortable. You can just take a soft gaze toward the earth. Coming back to the breath. With the eyes closed on your next exhalation, slowly let the right ear come toward the right shoulder. You'll feel a nice stretch through the left side of the neck, the upper traps, the jaw. You're breathing in and out of the nose. And we're just softening into the stretching of the neck, the softening of the belly the deepening of the breath. And then inhale, bring your neck back to neutral. And then exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Now you might notice one side is more resistant than the other. So just stay right where you are. We're not forcing the stretch. Just accepting what is. Whatever comes up for you in this present moment, Finding a soft breath, allowing your next breath to be received into a softer belly. Inhale back to neutral. Your next exhale, bring your chin to your chest, staying here for a few breaths, stretching the upper back, the cervical spine. Doesn't that feel good? Inhale back to upright. As you exhale, stretch your throat. Let the crown of the head reach for the back wall. Go to the edge of your comfort zone, maybe a little beyond. And then any direction, friends, take a nice slow rotation of the head, the neck. And eventually you'll take the opposite direction. Just notice any thoughts that come up. Notice if you're just in a hurry. Being mindful, quietly asking yourself why. Could just be habitual. It's important to take this time to just notice our patterns, the behaviors that come without even thoughts. And eventually taking one final rotation. And then when you feel ready, just coming back to that place of neutrality, that place of ease, where we began when we showed up today. When we took that leap of faith to try something new.
Grief is like the ocean. It comes in waves, ebbing and flowing. Sometimes the water is calm and sometimes it is overwhelming. All we can do is learn to swim. Right where you are, exhale all the air from your body. A big sigh to let it go. Completely empty out the lungs. Then together we'll take one long breath in, filling the low belly. Take your time through the ribs, expanding the body, filling the lungs, the heart, the skull, and a slight pause at the top of your breath. Open mouth release. Ah. Bring your palms to heart center, my friends. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide your chair yoga practice. And remember, it's not about finding perfection, feeling perfect. Allow your emotions. And thank you so much. Namaste. Friends, if anyone has any comments or questions for myself or Crystal, feel free to come off the mute. And if you have to go, I totally understand. Thank you so much. Thank you.